Welcome to In The News, the show that lets you know what's going on in your neck of the woods. I'm Corey Stottlemyre, and this episode, I'm gonna be letting you know about some important decisions being made by Missouri City leaders and about some exciting events that we've been hosting. Let's get started. At its February 17th regular meeting, the Missouri City City Council voted to place four bond propositions on the May 10th ballot, divided between drainage, facilities, fire station number six, and mobility improvements, the proposed ballot referendum totals $40 million. The bond package was the result of a year-long process begun in January 2013 with the formation of a Citizen Bond Exploratory Committee. Citizens on the committee met with staff to discuss proposed projects, including infrastructure improvements for roads, bridges and sidewalks, facilities, and public safety upgrades. On Saturday, February 8th, Missouri City held its annual Dad and Daughter Dance in the former Community Center, a popular tradition for 18 years. This year's dance provided guests with plenty of circus-themed activities, entertainment, and refreshments. This year's guests were greeted at the door by a circus fire act and a special party favor. My name is Todd Joseph and this is my daughter Kennedy Joseph and this is our second time uh, attending the event. I think it's important because we get, we get to spend some quality time together uh, with the hustle and bustle of, of work and school. There's not a lot of time for us to get out so this affords us the perfect opportunity to do that. Inside, guests enjoy dancing, carnival games, and plenty of fried Oreos. In January, Missouri City couple Tom and Regina Nichols received two community awards for their partnership with the city on the Tree Challenge. Through the challenge, the couple generously matches tree donations for up to 50 trees every year at Missouri City Parks. Residents interested in volunteering at the community garden or with other city parks can visit MissouriCityTX.gov to learn about future calendar events. Beginning January 13th, the Texas Department of Transportation has been managing a Texas Parkway widening project. Construction crews will be expanding Texas Parkway from two lanes to four lanes between Cartwright Road and Turtle Creek Drive. Throughout early March, community members have been busy keeping Missouri City Parks beautiful. From tree plantings in the city's Edible Arbor Trail to constructing a community garden in Buffalo Run Park, city residents have been active in parks from all corners of the city. Today we are out here with Edna and Men for Change, Home Depot, and some volunteers from the community in Missouri City. We are installing 18 cedar beds. The beds were built by the students at Elkins in the FFA program. So we are going to have an organic garden here and we have volunteers here helping us install the beds and fill them with some organic compost. We are about community and what a better way to help a community than to bring in the city itself along with the citizens within that community. And the big thing is we got a lot of kids that's involved here because we give out scholarships to seniors that's going into college, people that's going to technical school. We give out a series of uh, scholarships every year. So across the street here is Marshall High School. We're trying to get the school district to bring back the FFA program, which was discontinued a few years ago. By doing that and allowing students to farm here and cross the street, harvest their own crop, we hope they take that back to their own families and feed their families with the, with the pro products they've grown here in the community. For Missouri City, I'm Corey Stottlemyre. Remember, every day is a great day in Missouri City.